Hi friends, uh, this is Sadiq and uh, this is would be my third video for uh, 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 fabric. Here I want to uh, uh, demonstrate regarding the API discovery in runtime fabric and uh, implement policy in uh, any API, API that is deploying runtime fabric. Okay. So let's go one by one. Um, Right now, I have designed, I have uh, developed one sample API uh, that have uh, nothing on, only um, request and response. Okay, nothing more than that. And um, it um, it's having only get method and uh, we are the new response and the response is like success. Okay. I have already published this API, uh, this asset in Exchange. Okay, let's go, let's go to the Exchange. Um, okay, you can see this is the meetup. This is the meetup REST API, right? And um, I have uh, imported uh, this application, uh, this API, and uh, I have designed one uh, small and uh, payload that is here and i have not i have not changed anything uh, everything the same right you have pattern and you can see uh, you can go um let me go this location uh join center i will show you that API here, then uh, I have not changed anything, and the uh, uh, resource name, resource uh, destination is Kenton. Okay, now I have developed, imported, and developed the application. Okay, and apart from that, I have done the API uh, auto discovery of uh, router and the uh, register. I will configure over here. Okay, and let's see the configuration if you want to do that. Okay. API ID okay okay so uh, okay and list remember that wherever wherever you are going to deploy any API in runtime fabric always use a uh, default host and the default port 8081 um, uh, end to end SSL communication will not be uh, happening to the application is going to end up till the ingress in controller and uh, you cannot have the SSL URL uh, for, for the URL for your application that will be taken care by the uh, agent and runtime uh, 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 manager okay. so uh, I have configured the API Okay. and I have exposed API to manager, API manager, okay, uh, that's I have published to the exchange and let's go to the API manager. Okay, this is the uh, 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 meetup REST API, you can see that, um, let's go there, uh, you know that this is the, um, uh, this is the API ID, okay, this is the API ID and uh, I get with myself okay now I deploy my application my uh, meetup app application to runtime fabric okay I have deployed my application runtime fabric and I have configured uh, once you deploy in application in runtime fabric you can see that there is a uh, property tab in the application deployment while deploying application in runtime fabric and you can configure API ID as uh, I needed to uh, enable auto discovery. Okay, and this is the ID. Uh, this is the ID you will get from um, you will get from API manager, right? This is the API manager, right? Uh, 929. You can see that 929 last. Okay, and this is the um, platform um, uh, uh, 
uh, ID, uh, bank ID and secret so enable that for every environment just for example or the you can uh, keep here the environment bank ID secret or, or the platform bank ID secret that's it's up to you uh, but it's uh, you know that uh, the uh, assigning client uh, for environment based it is going to enable for the specific environment or we are going to enable for uh, a complete infrastructure then we are going to need to in, uh, put here uh, organization like a recipe okay? and uh, these are not mandatory but we are, I am using here for that as a kind of that's it and uh, you can see that I have uh, configured I have already uh, configured in runtime a API, man, API manager and uh, I have required application you can see that API status is active it means it's it is supporting my eye uh, uh, any point uh, uh, API discovery in runtime fabric okay here you can see that this is the log right uh, you go to the cabinets go to the ports you can see there are my meetup API okay just go to the logs you can see that um, let's go and you can see the API ID is now unblocked you can actually if you if you are providing wrong client ID and secret over over here <coughs> then it will be blocked it will not be able uh, to uh, this is order to access by using okay and here in this I'm using hello hello world to the dead um, uh, meetup API okay this is the URL I'm using for this application. This sample application, example URL. Uh, definitely you can change anything whatever you want. Okay. So now I am trying to access right. Uh, you can see this is my application name, API, and tether, right? If I send the request, I am already receiving 200. That's uh, I only validated. So that is the uh, that's the way you can up, uh, work on your application to enable uh, client array secret or you can implement any policy whichever you require let's, let's go and implement any uh, policy um, let's uh, go to the add policy um, if I say um, message let's go to the add policy let's go to the add policy okay. number of request 1 so number of request 2 and time to get the um, um, let's see five minutes okay. in five minutes okay um I need to add uh, I want to show anything like that let's go and apply all the meetup and resources okay I see that's done let's go and check if something is happening in our language Now we have done the pull request. Um, it will take some time to reflect on uh, platform. Let's just wait for some moment. Let's wait to reflect on this. Okay, and it's Okay, you can see the quota has been reached. Okay, so, so this way you can implement uh, API auto discovery in your runtime fabric and you can implement policy in your API. Okay, that's very simple way that we, you, you uh, um, uh, we are doing in a Cloud Hub deployment, the same way you have to do in runtime fabric itself. Okay, uh, thanks. Uh, I'll I'll release some more videos about that. Other than that, thank you.